Hi everyone, this is Dr. Susan Brown at Alkaline for Life. Today I'm going to just talk a little bit trying to help you understand the difference between an alkaline water and an alkalizing water. Let's start out by remembering the pH scale. It goes from 1 to 14. 1 is very acid, like battery acid. 7 is neutral, like our rainwater should be neutral. And a 14 is very alkaline, say like bleach. Every liquid will have a certain pH reading. You, so you may have heard people talking about, well, I love this alkaline water. So what are they talking about? They're talking about a water that has a high pH. Like this bottle right here, I just purchased at our local store. It says a pH of 10. Now that's interesting because a pH of 10 is really too high. By the time you get over 8.8 .8 pH, you shut down your peps and you, you produce much less hydrochloric acid. It's not a recommended drinking water because it in interferes with digestion. But nonetheless, they touted it as a pH of 10. Now if I go and measure this, with my little pH paper, I see that it indeed does have an S, a, a, an alkaline pH, but not nearly the dark green I would expect. So it's interesting, this bottle seems to be somewhat mislabeled, but nonetheless, it is a slightly alkalizing water. Now if I take something like apple cider vinegar, one of my favorite drinks, one of my favorite drinks that actually helps to alkalize the chemistry, I stick this pH paper in here, and lo and behold, it's very acid because apple cider vinegar has a lot of malic acid. That malic acid is indeed acid when we taste it, when we drink it. So here's the confusion. This water is highly alkaline. This water is highly acid. But this apple cider vinegar water will alkalize, and this other water will not. This will alkalize the chemistry because that malic acid in apple cider vinegar tastes acid. But when the body metabolizes, processes that, it turns into bicarbonate in water. And that is a major alkalizing factor is bicarbonate, the major alkalizing factor. So things that may taste acid, like apple cider vinegar, like oranges or lemons, they really are processed by the body to convert into alkaline, to have an alkalizing effect on the body. This water, even though they say it has a high pH and it has an alkaline pH, it will not alkalize the body unless it has substantial buffering compounds, carbonates, citrates, ascorbates, or minerals. This particular water doesn't seem to have any of those. It will certainly not alkalize the chemistry. I hope you understand the difference between a water that's capable of alkalizing the chemistry and reducing the burden of metabolic acids because it's delivering minerals and because it's delivering buffering compounds, just like those great mineral waters from Europe those waters that flowed through the Alps for decades and ended up collecting all kinds of minerals from that rock. Those are very highly alkalizing waters and high mineral waters, terrific for people. Just a water with a high pH alone doesn't have many benefits. And in fact, I would not drink a high pH water because it's gonna interfere with hydrochloric acid. So I hope you got the difference. Know that what we're talking about is remineralizing the body. We like to do it with a truly alkalizing water. Here at Alkaline for Life, we make our own alkalizing water. We take our alkalini C, which is an ascorbate combined with minerals. That's a vitamin C ascorbate, which will alkalize because ascorbate alkalizes just like bicarbonate. And it's combined with minerals, calcium, magnesium, zinc, potassium. We put this in our water, makes a very lovely alkalizing drink. And if you take the trouble to actually measure your pHs, we have these handy dandy pH strips first thing in the morning. You'll see that this sort of alkalizing mineral water we make here will effectively change your urine pH and help you reduce metabolic acids. Okay, have fun. Talk to you later.